So yeah. I've been talking a lot about the funding the police. I'm very much behind that. So at, from a legal point of view, defund the police versus abolish the police. Midwin, go. Well, I I think abolish the police uh, is an interesting phrase. Um, defunding the police. Well, let's just go about uh, the different uh, explanations. Defunding the police basically means taking the, the police budgets that a lot of these large cities have and distributing those funds to resources such as mental health, mm -hmm. such as adequate housing, such as helping people who are food insecure, because what studies show time and time again is that a lot of the uh, neighborhoods or uh, uh, locations where the where relationships with police are are fractured, mostly black and Latino neighborhoods, those neighborhoods are starved for resources. Right. Mm -hmm. So there are certain there are certain crimes that occur in those neighborhoods that really occur in more affluent neighborhoods because affluent neighborhoods have access to resources. If their yes. children are having issues, they have access to mental health. If their children are falling behind on school, they have access to tutors and so on and so forth. So there are a lot of altercations that occur with black people between police in, in our neighborhoods. I'll say our neighborhoods yeah. from Harlem, I'm in Brooklyn born and raised, yep. that those interactions would never occur in wealthier neighborhoods. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so, That's right. So, so one of the reasons why defunding the police is, is important, and I think we need to keep talking about it, is because what it does is it reduces the need for police to even interact with people mm -hmm. on a level that police are really not even equipped to handle. Now, going back to, to this case that you're talking about, what it underscores for me is that this black man's life did not really matter to those police, just like no, the police no. officers who killed George Floyd. Mm -hmm. And it's important to not conflate state sanctioned killing, which is what a police officer does when they kill an unarmed civilian. That is the state, the government, yeah. killing a citizen that is unarmed and does not, for all intents and purposes, prove a threat. It's important to not conflate that with policing our neighborhoods, right? All neighborhoods mm -hmm. are policed. I think all neighborhoods require some form of, of someone making sure that people are safe and people are protected. We but know the only, that but, crime but the, but, mm -hmm. the, but the biggest problem with our communities is that oftentimes the cops are not keeping us safe. They're actually Correct. harming us. And that's Correct. one of the big, big parts of this debate that everyone is having. Now, I've been talking about defunding the police for a while now. And, and, but, but when I look at the, so many of the atrocities that continually happen, I, that's why I'm like, why do you maybe need to hear more about the abolish the police movement?